Welcome to video 2 for uh, AVG 9.0. Uh, I did a little bit of research real quick while uh, in between videos, and I guess Messenger Plus might not be a rogue after all. Um, I think their website got infected with something or something like that, and uh, they cleaned it up. So, I don't know, that one's kind of weird. This one's dead. Don't see anything from uh, from AVG on that one. Okay, we got something here. Malware was detected. Identity protection. This is known as a Trojan backdoor. Okay. And it again wants to restart. It's really annoying that it wants to restart after everything. But at least it didn't kill the internet yet. Okay, 32.exe wants internet access. So, that's uh, whatever this is in the background I'm trying to download here. So we'll give it internet access for now. This is just a firewall. And we'll see if anything else catches. Okay, we'll give this access. Okay, and again, identity protection caught it, so we'll quarantine. Okay, so that's gone for now. Wants to restart. still works. Oops. JavaScript file. And that one might be dead. Okay, so what I'm going to do now that I went through all the links, I'm going to um, restart the computer and then I'm going to do a full scan. So, in, uh, scan the whole computer right here. And uh, let's see what they got here. We'll scan for rootkits, rootkit, 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 additional scan settings. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I guess, is when I do a scan, I want to scan for rootkits just first and then I'm going to scan the whole computer. But first, because it asked me to restart multiple times, I'm going to restart once again. So, I'll be back after the root sk rootkit scan is done. And then um, I'll start the uh, full scan, and we'll be back again after the full scan's done. See you in a second. Okay, so the computer restarted. It said that it removed everything. I just did a rootkit scan, and nothing was found. So now I'm going to start a uh, full computer scan. So while this is scanning, I am of course going to uh, I'm gonna turn this up to fast scan so it goes as fast as possible. I'm going to pause the video again and I will be back. Okay, so the scan's done here. Um, all it found was cookies. It didn't find anything else. Any tracking cookies. So I downloaded um, Malwarebytes here, like I usually do. And I am going to install it, update it, and do a scan and see if it finds anything that uh, AVG here missed. While this is downloading and updating and all that fun stuff, let's check out, see how many processes uh, it's using here. It definitely has a lot of processes. There's one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen processes. Some of them aren't using almost nothing, uh, but dang, it's a lot. Wait. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's, let's do.
do a scan here with malware bytes. It's like we usually do, and we'll see if it finds anything here. I will pause the video while this is doing a quick scan, and I'll be right back. Okay, so Malwarebytes just finished scanning here. Let's check out and see what it found. Okay, got a couple registry keys here. We got some stuff in temporary internet files, and we definitely have some files here in System32. And another Malware, malware uh, trace and uh, registry value here. Let's check out and see what these are. So, it it did okay. Um, a lot of these, like I said, were uh, zero day, especially the ones that were working. Um, but it did let some stuff through. So, AVG right now, um, I'd say I'd give it maybe seven to eight out of ten. Um, the only problem is that it's a paid software, and in my opinion, if you're gonna pay for your security, there's better ones out there right now uh, that offer much more protection um, for the price. If it was free, then definitely it'd be great to get, you know. But right now, I don't know. I uh, I can leave it up to you what you want to do with AVG. And um, I guess that does it for this review. I got one more coming up, and I will uh, see you guys later.